Did you go to a prom? I never went to prom. You didn't go to prom? I didn't. Oh wow. I was out of sc school. I was we were, I was filming <laughs> stuff when I was there you go. when I was and I don't know if I would have liked to. I probably would have. I don't know. What about you, Tyler? It sounds like you had a nice prom. I did. I went to my junior prom and my prom my senior year. Uh, his winter formal. His uh, the <laughs> winter formal. <laughs> winter spring formal. Yeah, formal. It's never too late. You're, this is your prom right now, Tyler Posey. Wow. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Not what you imagined, probably. You no, know, it actually is. Am I dreaming? Is this happening? Is Teen Wolf back? What's going on, Jeff? D didn't we have a conversation where I said there was no way this could happen? Not so long ago either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for launching in right there. Didn't I, uh, didn't I say something like that would be exhausting and they could never convince me to do it? Apparently someone <laughs> got to you and I'm happy. Yes. We're all happy they did. Uh, Tyler, Tyler, Jeff, welcome. Uh, Teen Wolf the movie. Um, so yeah, let's, let's just talk about like first generally it coming back. We, a couple of us talked on a reunion, um, mm. oh, I guess a year plus ago. Were, was that in your brain? Was that, were you guys really serious about trying to get the band back together and just not telling me? What was going on behind the scenes? No, no none of us knew um, that it was even a thought. I always advocated it, I wanted it as much as the fans did. Um, and I was always down. I always foresaw us doing like four seasons, four or five seasons, and then finishing it off with a movie. That's just, when I first got the show, I was like, this is probably, this is what my instincts are telling me, or what I want to happen. Yep. Um, Cause I always, you know, the show, like Jeff said earlier, uh, it, it's a mini movie every single episode, you know, and it, it, it deserved, you know, time on the big screen or the small, whatever your size your TV is. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, had no idea. None of us had any idea during that reunion. Did it kickstart anything, the, just everybody getting together? It must have been in the back of your brain to like get the band back together, no? I, well, I had been thinking about it and uh, tossing around certain ideas, what ifs, um, but I really never thought that uh, the two companies would be able to come together and, and find any sort of mutual agreement, and I really credit Chris McCarthy with doing it. Um, he and I had dinner one night, and we were talking about just how passionate the fandom was, and he said, well, what if we brought it back, and would we, could we do it as a movie, could we do it as a series? And I said, talk to MGM. And then he did, and I didn't realize he was actually going to do that. Because <laughs> <laughs> in Hollywood, that doesn't happen. You don't follow up. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it also has to do with the fans, because right. they come after us every year. They want season seven. They, they're probably going to want more movies now. Um, yeah, you've reignited the flame. Yeah. I mean, it was always yeah, yeah, yeah. there, but now it's really... <laughs> yeah, and they're always new fans, too. Yeah. Um, I, I, I find it extraordinary, because... I get recognized at airports, and it's bizarre to me. So I'm cool. like, I'm the writer. <laughs> right, that doesn't happen usually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's so cool. Yeah. So for, for you, Tyler, so yeah. for you, um, when this came around, I mean, again, look, you've been doing great things. You've been playing Superman, for God's sake, some pretty cool <laughs> stuff. But like, this has to have a special place in your heart, where it came in your career, and what it's meant to fans, and what it meant to you. When this came around, did it feel like, of course, like I have to like be a part of that, or was there some trepidation, or what? No, it's funny. Um, I remember when Jeff and I first spoke about it. Um, I don't want to speak for you, and you can correct me, but I feel like maybe there was like an element of him feeling like he was going to have to convince me mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, and uh, we had a great chat, and I was like, honestly, man, like I'm, I'm, I'm so happy with where I'm at in my life right now, and and I, I, I love all these people so much. Like so many people from the show are really genuinely best friends of mine, and it just felt like. Uh, it was like the perfect timing. I think it had been like a few years earlier or something. I don't know, like, character-wise, story-wise, and I don't know if it would have felt right, but just felt like the right time to do it. And uh, and like I really do genuinely love all these people. So um, for me, it was a chance to go back and be on a set with people that uh, I could genuinely appreciate what it was to be back on that set with that group. So, um, so I was kind of all for it. I was really excited about it. I know the fans have been wanting it, and so yeah. it was kind of a cool moment to do something that was... Uh, yeah, it was kind of like a thank you to them and a great chance to go back and be with people I enjoy being around. Talk to me about Tyler being on set. After all this talk, mm. you know, thinking about it, dr daydreaming about it, when you're actually on set with your friends, again, this is the formative experience in your professional life and personal life probably too. 100%, yeah. Um, what was it like that first day or first <laughs> couple days? So cool, dude. It was like, Hecklin was talking earlier that it was like uh, a 5 a.m. call time and I was, I, I I think I showed up like an hour before my call time, so I was like there super early in the morning. Just It was like a kid on Christmas. Yeah. I didn't want to sleep. Um, I've been looking forward to it so much. A lot of the crew members were, were the same also. 
same DP, same camera guy, same producers, and it was just that that was our favorite part about it like sh like pulling up to set having our own little spots um seeing all of like our our base camp crew and it was just uh really really special to see everybody again and i really cherished it you know and we have to get this movie done pretty quickly. So I was talking earlier that there was no really like initiation. Yeah. It was like action and you have, you're have you covered in blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this is how it works. I remember this. Yeah, yeah. and it yeah. was that's exactly the way I wanted it. Right. You know, and I did have many moments uh, of just kind of stepping back and just like really taking it all in and just, it's emotional being back there, you know, and knowing this time what, how much weight it holds f to the fans. We always knew on the show that the sh when we were filming the show that it was a huge hit. But after all these years and, and, and the more fans that it's garnered over the years, I'm like, this, is, this feels really special and big and heavy in the best way. Yeah, it was just great. And it was great to see everybody years later and, and I'm in a really great part of my life and, and having people acknowledge that and notice it and yeah. us just being there for one another still and Dude, it was awesome. Let's talk about where your characters are, because it's been some time. Right. Were you surprised of what Jeff had in mind? Did you campaign for anything like, this is where I see my guy now? I mean, yeah, Jeff's always extremely collaborative and uh, always willing to kind of like put our voice in the character. And he had a really great idea for where Scott was. And some, it's a place where we've never seen him before, you know? So that's always so fun to play, especially some as a role that's been so established and is so a part of you for years getting to kind of portray him in a different light is just so fun. It's it's the best part of acting. You know, like we can't really, it's, it's rare that we yeah. are we have these roles a part of us for so long and then we come back to it, you know, it's, it's my I th favorite. I think with these projects, everybody, um, their initial thought is to just do the same old thing. Right, right. We, we wanna see Scott doing the same thing. We wanna see uh, Hecklin doing the same thing. But I wanted to give them a little difference this time. Uh, and the place you find Scott is in a bit of a crisis. So he's got to step out of that. And where we find Derek is he's a single dad. 15 so, year old kid now. Yep. 15 year old kid, man. Yeah. yeah so what's the, what's the, does that change? I mean, that's obviously a huge development and yeah. changes the, the dynamic for your character. For sure. Uh, I think, you know, I always say, Jeff gave Derek such a great character arc on the show from where we first find him and where he ends up in the show. Um, to me, it was really him, th that struggle of finding your purpose and accepting your place and knowing it and being at peace with it. Um, and I felt like in season one, he was fighting so hard for something and he didn't really know what it was. Uh, and by the end of season four, you know, I, I always, I love that scene with Scott in the locker room when he has Liam and he's like, you're gonna be, and I'd say, you know, mm. you're gonna be good at this. And it was just a cool, it was a cool thing of that passing of the torch of being like, you know what, like, this is his role. Like for me, it was like, yeah, Scott is the alpha and it's okay that Derek didn't have the greatest run at that. <laughs> like, yeah. But it's, I think it was, he found his peace with being like, that's not my role and that's okay. Um, yeah. And I think for him to come back now, it was just a great way of being like, last time we saw the character, he had really made his peace with where he was and now his struggle is trying to help his son through that same process. Right. So uh, I thought it was a really cool place to be uh, with the character and something completely new to play with. In the uh, the newly released trailer, we see a lot of exciting things. We see, I believe, Styles' Jeep in there. Did yeah. you have to get that from Dylan? Dylan told us that he has the Jeep. He actually, he actually did. Yes, he did have the Jeep. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we had to call him up and say, hey, can we have the, we borrowed the Jeep from him. I love that. Because we gave it, well, That's we amazing. gave it to him with the promise that if we ever needed it again, he would give it back. So Dylan is a part of it. Yes, he absolutely is. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I mean, look, I mean, you have to respect everybody's choices and where they are right now. Was it oh, weird yeah. for you to like be there? I mean, he's such an important part. Again, a friendship, a collaborator. Was it odd to not have him by your side at all or no? Um, I mean, well, for the last, what was it, the last season? We didn't, yeah. we, it, it, uh, you know, I kind of had to... You were carrying the show. I would ca yeah. carry the show for sure. the first time in, in, in forever. And so I sort of got used to that aspect. Right. But his character and who he is, to me and to Scott, has infiltrated our lives so deeply that he's literally there right. no matter what. It's still a big yeah, part the, of the world. Yeah. The presence is still there. I think it's one of those things where, I mean, we all, also, when we're on set, we're not always working with the same people all the time. So there's that element of it. But... Either way, like there's no there's no chance that we would have done the movie and that I would have been playing Derek and not still felt the dynamic of styles in the group. You know sure. what I mean? It's like we're still in scenes and like I know like Derek knows Scott, but he knows Scott 
with styles. And so even yeah. though he's not there, like his his absence is also still part of it. So it yeah. yep. very much is uh, it's still yeah. That's probably the best way I can say. Yeah. It. One of the, one of the fun things about doing a movie is um, uh, we always talk about which characters haven't we seen with each other. Right. So we realized yeah. um, we have never seen a scene with Derek and the coach. So one of the first scenes in the movie is, is with uh, Derek and Coach about Eli, who happens to be a lacrosse player in the movie. That's a benefit of having yeah. a great giant ensemble. Like, oh, wait, oh, we yes. can mix yeah. and match. Totally. Right. Oh, exactly. It was so fun to finally work with Orny. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So in terms of like catching up the audience on where everybody's been, like how do you accomplish that? Or is there like, is there any like, I don't know, are you like publishing like a comic book in between to like catch people up? Or is it that sort of like in a, in a prologue? Or does it just come up naturally in the course of the narrative of where everybody's been? It's in various introductions. It's, let me tell you, it's not easy to do. It's not easy to yeah. introduce 20 main characters in a movie and give them all <laughs> character arcs and then wrap them all up by the end of the movie. And our first cut is almost three hours long. Hell yeah. <laughs> Director's hell, cut. Hell yeah. Let's see it. That comic book idea is pretty cool, though. Yeah. That might be a good idea to, to, to do. Bank it, bank it. Yes. The yeah. <laughs> there is a character in the trailer that is a surprise, given the fate of this actress and character in the show. Allison is back. Explain what? yourself. She is. <laughs> <laughs> Want to leave it at that? Wait, what? What? You weren't what? aware? I don't remember that. Um, I remember saying a long time ago to, uh, I think, either some of the producers or writers on the show, I said, uh, we were talking about Allison, and I said, um, I would only ever bring Allison back if it was a movie. And then, so when they said movie, the first thing that popped into my head was, Allison? And... I think we bring her back in a really fun way, kind of in an unexpected way. We bring her back with a bow and arrow, and she's a badass in it. I mean, if you're going to come back, that's the way to do it. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. Talk about, like, okay, so when you end this one, is there, again, a sense of finality, or now you kind of like, oh, wait, the world is over? I think we've up. given up on finality. Right? I've given up. I'm like, <laughs> I want to do this for the rest of my life. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> how do you feel about that, Jeff? Um, uh, absolutely. <laughs> 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 but there is something fun. I mean, when you start, <laughs> he just signed you up for the rest of your life, whether yeah. you know it or not. <laughs> but I, I mean, I guess talk to me, again, we're at Comic-Con, and we've talked so many times here at mm -hmm. Comic-Con, and so many happy memories for you guys, I'm sure, at Hall H, and, and the first Comic-Con before the show had even debuted. Sure. Yeah. Um, has this been just like a great kind of, I don't know, deja vu trip back to San Diego? What's it like? It is. It is. It's funny. It's weird. Um, because I walked out of the hotel, and I was crossing the the pedestrian bridge, and there's this giant building with Teen Wolf on it. Our first time here, nobody knew who we are. We were, and uh, we were we were a very small show. And somehow, it's like, wow, did we get popular? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is crazy. Uh, for me, Comic Con's always been like a gauge of like the progression of the show. Because like you said, that first time we were here it was. Uh, mm -hmm. A s small room and barely filled up with anybody other than people asking us why we were doing this and ruining their childhood. I remember, I'll never forget that question. Like, wh why are you ruining my childhood? Or the other one was like, why call it Teen Wolf? Why not call it like Teenage Werewolf? <laughs> I remember Jeff Adam was like, because that's a terrible title. <laughs> it's not a good name. Uh, but that was like our first year here, and then the second year was such an overwhelming fan response yeah. uh, that it was just it was it was crazy to see it, see it turn around that fast, and then. Each year, I think it was like a bigger room and a bigger room and yeah. just more and more packed. So it's, uh, it's, ballroom it's been Ballroom 20 cool. was amazing. When yeah. We, when we did Ballroom 20, then you knew. it was like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> and nowadays, what's weird is like I'll tell people, oh, I, I, I worked on the show Teen Wolf. And they'll say, oh, I used to watch that as a kid. Right. That's crazy. And I'm like, yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah, that, that weirds me out. How yeah. well, do I But look? also, you said about the new fans, too. There's still like people like... <clears throat> People will come up and say hello, and they're mm -hmm. teenagers, and be like, "I yeah. love the show." It's like, okay, so obviously you just discovered it mm -hmm. recently. Yeah. Um, it's it's crazy to, to to think that people are still finding it and it's still growing, which is which is great. So hopefully, yeah, um, a new audience. Yeah. yeah, yeah, huge demographic at this point. It's awesome. So uh, I do want to ask because you made some news today, also, Jeff, uh, bringing out Sarah Michelle Gellar yes. for this Wolf Pack show. <laughs> I mean, bringing Sarah Michelle Gellar, you know, genre icon back mm -hmm. to TV. Um, that must just mean so much to you. And can you just also clarify, is this have any continuity? Is this the same universe or not? <laughs> it's not the same universe. Okay. These are all new teenage werewolves. And um, Sarah is amazing. She's great. I, uh, when we were first started talking to her, I just wanted to know 
is she a good person? Is she someone I want to work with? And we had a, an amazing meeting over Zoom. And then when I finally met her in person in Atlanta, um, she looked at me and she was like, we're going to be best friends. And I'm like, <laughs> Buffy's going to be my best friend. <laughs> and I'm like, play cool, play cool. <laughs> um, and she's such a total pro. Yeah. So it's really exciting. And we're, we're working our butts off in Atlanta right now to make that show. And um, uh, to have Teen Wolf help launch it is amazing.